Hi everyone, in today's session we are going to discuss about the constituents of the tourism industry, the characteristics of hospitality industry and the hotel core areas. So the constituents of the tourism industry involves accommodation, transport and food and beverage. If we talk about accommodation that will include any place where a guest is given a place to sleep. So that can be hotels, those can be motels. Uh, motels will be hotels that are located on highways, resorts that are located away from the city center, condominiums where we take a particular place or a particular room for an entire year and that can be rented out to any other guest on the behalf of uh, uh, the, the guest who has purchased the condominium or the management company can also rent it down on behalf of the guest who has purchased the condominiums. Circuit houses are places which uh, were built in uh, long back old houses built by Britishers and uh, uh, that were used uh, for uh, any kind of forest uh, hill locations and uh, uh, those can be used in today's time as well for accommodation. If we talk about uh, transportation of uh, tourism industry, so those will uh, include your trains, passenger ships or cruise liners as we can say, a lot of airlines are being operated in today's time, buses, ferries, cruises, so anything that forms a part of tourism uh, uh, transport for the guest will come under the transport section. We talk about food and beverage, like we all know uh, there comes the restaurants, there come the bars, uh, pubs, dhabas, takeaways, kiosks, drive-in and, and you can even add any other more uh, in this. It can also be food trucks for that matter if I would like to add. So kiosks uh, out of all these that I would like to explain is kiosk is a small place where uh, uh, this is basically a booth that we can say which is wholly solely located alone and uh, small similar smaller items of your home uh, items are available in the kiosk for example I can give for this is the wear cup boots or the amul boots that we have in our locality so those are kiosks Characteristics of uh, hospitality. Now, uh, characteristic, characteristic is uh, firstly is the intangibility, something that cannot be touched and displayed, or even it cannot be tested in advance. So something it is, uh, it cannot be seen as well. It can just be felt. Okay. Then the second is the limited lifespan. This would not start today and end up. Till 10 years so the moment we are experiencing the hospitality is that is the only moment where we would get uh, uh, our benefit out of that hospitality and we would be able to experience hospitality it is not endless it will finish very soon Aggregating now, uh, there are a combination of various products like packages. We want to include our sightseeing packages along with meals, along with accommodation, along with any kind of uh, water activities, beach activities, mountain activities, trekking activities. So we can make certain packages out of our uh, hospitality or the hotels that we go and stay in. Next is heterogeneity, means it is diverse. It will be always be different from some other person's trip. What I experienced at a certain location would not be the same the other person would experience. So everybody will have their own diverse thoughts about a trip they travel to. Next is simultane simultaneity of production and consumption. So this is something if the hospitality is produced, and it is consumed at that particular time. Travelers have to travel to a particular destination to experience that particular product or that particular service. Sitting at home, I will not be able to consume the hospitality. So I have to go and visit a hotel or a hospitality sector where I can actually experience or actually consume the hospitality or actually I can actually feel the hospitality over there. So the five characteristics are intangibility, a limited lifespan, aggregating, heterogeneity and simultaneity of production and consumption of hospitality. Now the hotel core areas, we have uh, four major hotel core areas, which is the food production, food and beverage service, housekeeping, or what is known as accommodation operations, and last but not the least, the front office. And various uh, departments come under the front office department, which is the lobby, front desk, reception, information of the concierge desk, cashier desk, GRE, which is the guest relation executive desk, lobby manager's desk, bell desk, 
business center, back office and reservations. So these are the parts of the front office department. So if we talk majorly about the front office department is the main focal point in the front office, right? And which is the lobby where the reception desk is available or can be seen. So the guests are received in the lobby where uh, they check in into the hotel and a lot of activities are taken care by the bell desk because he or she is responsible for uh, taking the luggage from the lobby to the guest room and it uh, the front desk works as a control center for the hotel any kind of uh, complaint or information that has to be taken by the guest happens through the front desk and uh, the foreign currency exchange can also happen at the front desk and we can assist the foreign guests we receive certain kinds of guest mails and messages which can be sent to the guest or if the guest wants to send certain mails outside how those have to be posted uh, some items have to be couriered can be done from the front uh, desk it helps in the guest accounting any kind of uh, cashing or any kind of account handling happens to the front desk so the front desk is also responsible for obviously selling up the guest rooms and uh, assigning the room numbers to the guest and uh, handing over the keys and uh, firstly when the uh, we sell guest rooms uh, it happens through the through the room reservations which can happen one year before one month before three months before the guest's actual date of arrival so it happens through the room reservations it provides uh, information about the hotel surrounding areas, any events, movies, theaters, malls around uh, any kind of metro station. So we are providing all kind of information to the guests on that. We are also maintaining the room status. We, how many rooms are clean, how many rooms are out of order, how many rooms are out of service, which is important to monitor. And uh, the credit limits of the guests because uh, there is a credit facility that is given by the hotel to the guest wherein the guest can use the services but pay us at the time of checkout so the guest is not necessarily uh, doesn't necessarily have to pay at every point of uh, sale that he goes to for example if, if he eats in the restaurant it's not necessary for the guest to pay there and then he can pay us at the time of checkout so we are giving the guest a credit facility it assigns assists the guests in the checkout procedures any kind of checkout any kind of cash ring uh, uh, done through debit cards credit cards net banking any kind of other assistance at the checkout is done by the front desk and eventually the uh, bell boy takes the luggage from the lobby to the guest's car or any other vehicle he's traveling in and uh, 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 and we say a goodbye to the guest at that particular time this is all uh, is that which happens to the uh, front desk thank you very much for now this is all from my side and uh, i will see you soon